I'm currently in the San Andreas neighborhood, which is where our Airbnb's at. Pretty much a very authentic, working class Mexican neighborhood, as you can see around me. We're gonna go to a place called Hospicio Cabanas. It's more over near the Centro District, which most people who come to Guadalajara, that's where you're gonna go. It's supposed to be an arts and cultural center, although back in the 18th century, it was originally a giant place that they built to care for the needy. So we're gonna check that out. And then afterwards, the plan is head a couple blocks over to Mercado Libertad, which I've been there a couple times. I wanna share it with you. It's amazing. It's a three or four story market, completely filled with 2,900 plus vendors. Alrighty, our Uber is finally here. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? Feliz año. Muy bien, muy bien. Just look up Mercado Libertad on the map and the main road that runs in front of it, this is where all of these shops are located. Uh, you can find some crazy deals and you'll find more stuff here than you will go into a Walmart or anywhere else. And then coming up here on the right is where we're going to finish off our video today. It's this building right here and this is the Mercado Libertad that has the 2900 plus vendors. It's a crazy place. Buen día, gracias. Sí, para servirles. Adiós. 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 Alrighty. We are here. $2.75 later. Check out this area. And this massive building over here, this is the giant arts and cultural center. and there's next to nobody here. If you come here a few hours later, I've driven past, there's vendors everywhere and a ton of people. Oh man, this place is huge. It's gonna be very interesting to go in and explore. Check out some of the art here. This is one of the things I love about Mexico. It's everywhere, absolutely everywhere. We just paid to get to the museum here. It was uh, 160 pesos, uh, so 80 pesos each for the gringos. 55 pesos if you're from here. But uh, here's a little pricing and everything. Some of these museums are free to get into. Uh, this one, if you come on a Tuesday, is free, which is pretty nice. Definitely something to take advantage of if you come here with a lot of people. No, it's open. No, it's open. Perfect. Gracias. So apparently you can't come in here with uh, an extendable tripod. I'm holding a, a little one to record on here. 
Look at this architecture, it's just amazing. So cool. Totally amazing. I can definitely say that coming to Mexico has increased my interest in arts and architecture more than I ever thought would be possible. And then to think this place was built in the 18th century to uh, help with the needy. <laughs> It's just so cool. <laughs> Maybe we'll skip around the guided tour here and go out the side door and take a path around the edge here. Now, if you're interested while you're here, your ticket, the cost of admission, included in that is the guided tour. So if you speak Spanish, because they don't speak English. They have English tours. Oh, do they have English tours as well? Okay. So they have both. That is included in the cost of admission, if that's what you're looking for. I'm guessing they're individual rooms, but we'll peek. Yeah, they're just individual rooms. Still very cool. Check out this view leaving. This is <laughs> such a cool place. So amazing.
to three or four floors, depending where you're at in this building. So as you can see, massive amounts of shopping. The plan here is to go to the end of the building, go up a couple stories, and find the food. Here we've made it, and you're about to be overwhelmed by food choices. Gracias. No gracias. Buen día. Alright, check this out. I'll let you look at all the food instead of my ugly mug. And most of these places are just barely going for the day. Talk about meats and tacos. Right now it's just barely noon, so that's why most of these places are closed down. I've noticed that people tend to eat later here in Mexico for lunch and definitely for dinner. Uh, most dinner places open at 6, 7 o'clock at night and are open until 4 in the morning, even later sometimes. Oh, fresh juices? Yeah. Fresh juices. Now, if you come here, you may get suckered into sitting down in the first place. Don't do that. Keep walking. There's so much to see here, so much delicious food. And some of the more affordable stuff is downstairs. All of your local meats. This is where a lot of the restaurants get their stuff from. You can get everything from tripe, pig's feet, heart. But there we go, some heart. Very good, give it a shot. different quarter cups here. But the best one is right over here. My torta loca. Wow. Una torta? Two? Una? Una? Two? These are huge. And as you can see on the wall over there, 70 pesos. That's $3.50. And half one of these will fill you up. It is wild. Oh, covered in crema. And then juices from the meat. There's the meat from the, uh, the juice from the meat. So amazing. Check this out right here. A giant bowl of extremely spicy sauce. I love spice, but you should be careful. Oh, yes. So good, so messy. There's no easy way to eat this, so we just gotta go in. Thank you. 
so good. The bread's soft, spongy, chewy, and the outside's super crisp from just being charred on that griddle. You can't beat this. Check this out. Is that delicious sauce? And here they are. I hit it with the fresh cream, some sort of mustard sauce, although I don't taste mustard at all. As you can see, so much juicy meat in there, lettuce, tomato, and this bread just chars up and gets nice and crispy on the outside. It tastes nice and soft on the inside. So one more quick thing before we end today's video, I want to go up to the third story here and show you just a glimpse of some of the shopping here, some of the things you can get. If you want to see that in more detail, check out my last video. The first time we came here, we uh, did several hours of walking around exploring this and recorded just a first person view of that. It was very overwhelming, but it'll give you a glimpse of what it's really like. So definitely check that one out. And there's the flour used to make the hamaika that I love. So good. And don't miss out on the fresh candy everywhere. <laughs> Sí, pero ese sí no ha existido todavía en el mundo. Hola. 140? 140? Sí. 140 pesos, 7 bucks US. Sí. Look at this. ¿Te gusta el uno? ¿Qué tú quieras? Cógelo. Ahí está de Islandia, de Mickey Mouse. Ah, for the niña. That's cute. Es de niña. Hey. Ah. Hay de todos. Very nice. Very cool. And they have some other plainer ones if that's not your style over here. ¿Enseñó algo de broma? Very cool. Mexican, hermano. Yeah, 100% Mexican. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, you gotta love this. Hey, watch out, watch out. I don't know how you're supposed to top seeing a dude beat another dude in the face with a fake waiter. It's amazing. But check this place out. More food downstairs, more vendors. You can also go down here to these shops and get fresh whole coconuts. And they'll even cut out the inside for you. Super cool. And then through these trees is a little courtyard and the whole place is surrounded by vendors as well. Or you can walk over this bridge away from Mercado Libertad into this place, Centro Joyero, and it's mainly a bunch of jewelry shops and stuff. But still very cool. All right, let's go inside and find some clothes. Sure, yeah, I'll follow you, I'm not sure. Yeah, not much down this way, I don't think. Dolce & Gabbana, Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Wonder how that would hold up. It's like rubbery. Hmm. Where are you from, bro? Uh, United States, Florida, most recently. Florida? Yeah. Do you like it, Mexico? I love it. Yeah. Yeah? We've been here for a few months before. Uh, right now we're in, we've been here for one month. And then next week we go to Puerto Vallarta. We really love it there. So we're trying to stay Sayulita. there for like six months. Sayulita. Yeah, Sayulita, we've been Miss Maloya, we stayed there. Beautiful. Different, different building. It's so different and the people are, the people are really friendly, like super friendly. And it, it's funny because all of our family, they think it's bad to come here. They're tripped out, but I don't think you should be. Just don't be stupid. Cancun? Cancun. I haven't been to Cancun. Do you like it? Have you been? Yeah. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Yeah? Ah, this is I like again. it Puerto Vallarta. Me too. Uh, Sayulita, San Blas. 
yes. San Pancho, uh -huh. Mismaloya, yeah. uh, Yalapa is nice, Yalapa. Yalapa, very nice. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, I can't wait Different to go back. Beaches. We grew up on the beach, so we're excited to get back. I like the moisture, it's dry here. Yeah, but otherwise, this is the cool You like city. Guadalajara? I do, yeah. Yeah, we're staying in the San Andreas neighborhood. So I'm trying to work on my Spanish, so. I've only been practicing for a couple weeks, so. <laughs> Welcome to Guadalajara. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Gracias. Buen día, mi amigo. See you, see you later, bro. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Cuánto? Esa vale 380. 380. 380. ¿Te llevas mm. unas dos? Dos cincuenta, which is 250. Yeah. Okay. So 550. Yeah. That's, That's fine. That's 27.50 for two for shirts. Two shirts. Yeah. And it's yeah. really, really nice quality. And they're both, well, Billabong and Ongo. Yeah, Philip Long and O'Neill, not bad. I do, yeah. 550 pesos. Oh, look at that place. Oh, man. Talk about fresh fruit, extravaganza. Fresh juices, fresh smoothies. I think we're gonna end the video there today, guys. I wanna say thank you to everybody who's watched and hung out today. It really means a lot. This is the first video we've ever put out where we're actually in it. <laughs> and if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hasta luego.